Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm going to teach you one of my favorite color changes called the Duck Change by Hirosaki. It takes a lot of practice and it's more of a, um, a knack than anything, but I know you're going to get it as long as you practice and keep up with it. So in this video I'll be giving you some pointers on some little touches that'll make it a little bit easier, and then let's get right into it. Alright, so here is how the duck change looks. Alright, so what we can do is take a card from the middle of the deck. We'll have the three of hearts there. And now that's about, oh, 26, 27 cards down, I'd say. So what we're going to do is push that in all the way to lose it. And what we'll do is we'll take the top card and we'll use it as sort of a locator to find that uh, card. Alright, so all we've got to do is give it a flick and uh, we have the card right there. All right, so the card control I did just there was called the slipstream move, and I've taught it before on my channel, and I'll leave a link down below if you, if you want to learn that. However, the main thing you want to keep in mind is that you need to control a card the second from top in order to change the top card into it, all right? So let's say we have a card selected, and we'll just use tilt to control the second from top, all right? So the seven of spades, uh, take a good look at it. We'll just use tilt to get it right there a second from top. Uh, just like that, so it's right there ready to go. Now what you do is you take the top card and you want to get a break. As you're showing this around, you want to just get a break under the top card, your selection, and put it on top. So that way you have access to an impromptu double pacer just like this. So two cards back to back, the top card uh, back to back with their card just like that on top. Now what you're going to do is pick up the card in sort of a modified biddle grip, all right? So what I mean by that is you're going to pick it up by the size, not really in the corner, but like almost on the corner, all right? So you, like right where the pips are, all right? So you pick it up right around the pips and you want to make sure that when you pick it up, it feels like it's going to just fall or pop off your middle finger, all right? So you want to really contact uh, the top card um, or the the top part of your, your fingertip right there, right? You want to contact the edge of the card on your fingertip. So that's almost going to fall off. And in fact, that's what it'll really do is sort of just pop off your middle finger. It, it wants to happen and it's going to sort of wait to happen, all right? So uh, again, you just pick up the two cards like this on the sides where the pips are, just like this, to where just the tip of your middle finger is touching the edge of the card, just like this as you're picking it up. So it feels like it's going to just pop off your middle finger at any time. Now to make the change happen, what you're going to do is apply forward pressure with your thumb like this, so that just pops off your middle finger just like that. And what happens in slow motion is that the card just does this. It flips this way. Most people think it flips this way, just like this, but in fact, it flips this way, all right? So it flies through the air just like that. So a thing, again, that makes it easier is make sure you're not on the corner, but you're just at the pip and just the tip of the middle finger is touching the card. It feels like it's going to fall off. Now, a good position that I find is easiest is to have it. I'm left-handed, so for me, it'll be about 7 o'clock, but for most people who are not left-handed, it'll be, what is that, 5 o'clock? Yeah, it'll be 5 o'clock there, so... You want to have it about five o'clock, maybe three or four inches back from the deck, just like this. And what you want to do is um, just flick it on it. Just flick it. That's all I can really say about this move is you want to have a good flick. All right. So you're about here, about three or four inches back from the deck. I'd say about three or four inches above the deck as well. All right. So you're here and then you just flick. All right. You're here and then you're just like that. Now. I did mention that the card flips this way, so to make it a little bit easier, uh, if they're looking at the back of your hand, it's a good idea to sort of go ahead and aid in the flipping motion. That way it doesn't have to flip very much. It's already like this, or it's, it's already perpendicular pretty much. All that has to happen is you just have to flick the card and the rest will happen automatically, all right? So pick everything up just like this. Right around here is fine then just let them go, all right? It wants to release off your middle finger, so just let it happen naturally, all right? So don't try to apply too much force to it, all right? So just be very gentle and ginger with it, all right? Just like this, and then you'll have your duck change in no time. All right, guys, so as always, I really hope that you uh, liked this video, and I really hope that you learned something new, and I really appreciate you taking the time in your day to watch it. Until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.